is up my people welcome back to the channel i'm your boy nasim the dream happy new music friday it is that time of the week ladies and gentlemen you already know what we're about to do we're gonna react to a brand new single and you already know what i'm gonna react to based off the title of this video i'm gonna check out this new juice world track the lights listen i do not check out any of juice world's per se you know leaked songs on soundcloud or anywhere on the internet that just gets leaked i feel i i get like some kind of discomfort whenever i play artists um uh leaked content because usually it's just not finished so i just just hate to, to judge it based off of that but we are gonna check out this new track the lights you can let me know down in the comments if this is a track that was already leaked and you're already probably familiar with i'm assuming it is but uh either way let's just check it out for ourselves we're gonna get it going three two one let's go forever is a long long time from the night I was wondering where this was gonna go. So baby, you're my lifeline. You're in all the times you was mad. I was over under the influence. I feel sorry for the people that don't get it. It's really rare that you feel the real love feeling. Some people get hurt and never love again. Some people get hurt and get a drug to bend. Some people get dressed and go and hit the club to men. No love in one night stands, but you can play pretend. That's forever, what's the better, no discussion, that's how I'm coming Okay. Yeah, that was way better than I was expecting. It has some minor production flaws that I have some issues with, you know. Um, when Juice World's vocals come in in the very intro, they, like, try to, like, add in some kind of, like, distant, almost, like, t a tad bit ghostly kind of effect on there. It just felt very awkward. I felt like a lot of the reverb, especially early on when that first, when he spoke that first word, it, like, poked out a little bit too far, and it got a little bit, like muddy into the mix i like the clean guitars though I, I honestly was messing with the rhythms that it was really going with it honestly was not bad and juice world um this one it does sound like he intended it on this on this instrumental for sure so uh this this track was definitely a lot more enjoyable than i was expecting and i am very very glad about that Okay, so I pretty much got a grasp about what he was talking about. Um, songwriting wise, it didn't really, I didn't really find anything that was really too, uh, you know, different, very unique based off his past material. I mean, Juice World is basically what a lot of people like to call like sad boy hip hop. Um, when it comes to melodic hip hop, that he kind of just talks about, you know, in his feels and pretty much and all that stuff, which is all 
nice and dandy. But that's pretty much what I caught off from this too, but let's just double check the lyrics and see if there's anything interesting that I can catch. Oh, apparently uh, they did cut out um, a part of the verse in here because the original verse was forever is a long as time from tonight. See, now that I think about it, when I go back to it, now I'm noticing that the way it was clipped in there, it's so obvious now. I don't know why. I knew something it was, you know, that's why I really felt like the intro wasn't so fluid. Um, it didn't really flow like how I really wanted it to. And the chorus goes, when it's dark outside, you're always a light. This heart of mine was once cold as the ice. The more I try, the more I open my mind for you to find the demons hiding deep inside. Yeah, that's pretty much what I caught up with the grassman here. Um, it, it's very, very easy to digest. Juice World is pretty much talking about a girl that he can open up to, that he can feel like he can, uh, you know, escape his darkness, his demons on that on that uh, stanza. And, you know, and just find someone that is just makes him feel whole and happy and content and, and etc. Verse 1, I owe fines. The devil say I owe him for life, but I could feel it. I got God on my side. Remember when he sent you to me that night? I had to cuff you up like a cop on heist. Cupid is the judge, so I must testify. I won't move or budge. I'll stand by you for life. All my life when you die is when I die. I sometimes wonder why we argue and fight and quickly make things right it's it's probably because we gotta grow more over time Would, wouldn't be real love without rough nights can't feel these drugs but i feel your eyes when you look at me things feel all right the writing isn't you know that stand out but i do like that juice does well on keeping up topic you know sometimes a lot of rappers they just kind of just are all over the place just try to just make rhyme schemes and it's just like, you sure, stuff rhymes, but like stuff isn't really intact. You're not really following a theme. And at that point, how much really, how much meaning can a song really uphold? So, um, you know, we, we've seen this kind of tale before, but at least it stays on topic. That's what I really like about it. And then looking at verse two, been through it. I don't really want to get into it. Throwing out my heart to break mine so I won't do it. Also, baby, you're my lifeline. You're an influence. All the times he was mad, I was over under the influence. I feel sorry for the people that don't get it. It's really rare that you feel in the real love feeling. Some people get hurt and never love again. Some people get hurt and give the drugs a binge. Some people get dressed and go and hit the club to mend. There's no love in one night stands, but you can play pretend. And me, I may admit, all of these hoes, one thing that pretentious. And if I know one thing, I know this, it's forever worse or better. No discussion, that's how I'm coming. You know, I wonder if this was actually written to um his past girlfriend before he passed. Um, I don't remember her name, to be honest with you. You know, it, it's, it's endearing. It's endearing. It's very nice. It's very thoughtful. It's very meaningful, which is something I really, really appreciate. So if this was something that he wrote to... um. Um, his lover that before he passed, you know, that's a very beautiful thing. So if this person really did this much for him, that's that's beautiful. Pretty straightforward love letter. And, you know, I am a lot more satisfied with this. You know, it, there's definitely a lot of moments on here where it feels very clipped it like very, you know, rough around the edges with the editing because they obviously cut things out but yeah with that intro and then slightly with a bit of the chorus when they try to add some like some kind of like i don't know what kind of processing definitely some of the reverb was a little bit too much like i said it was drowning out in the intro and i thought that was an issue you know um and this was interestingly enough uh produced by uh 808 mafia so that is also something to know honestly the beat was probably my favorite part because that was something that usually is something that is lacking for me when it comes to tracks like these uh, sometimes they just don't really stand out because the most hip hop, most trap nowadays, the user just gets loops. Um, doesn't really um, expand more dynamically. It went the simple route, went the safe route towards the bridge, and just put on some some trap uh trap trap drums, excuse me. And but honestly, it worked. Like uh, Juice World understood the assignment. He was in sync with it. And um, I just felt like flow wise, he was on point. I mean, Juice World is honestly a really gifted rapper, freestyle wise. He's He's skillful. Uh, that's there's no doubt, no question about it. So I am really satisfied with this track, honestly. Um, this is pretty good. I like this. Guys, let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of this track. Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you not? We're in a little bit in the middle. Give me all your thoughts down in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content as it helps out the channel grow. I much much appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one. Deuce.